Hello and welcome to Wednesday. Another busy day as the past few days have been. We actually had lunch today though at a new place called Mission Barbecue. Mal had a brisket sandwich and cheesy potatoes. I had baked beans and a pulled pork sandwich. Um, it's one of those places they got all the different sauces on the table. You could squirt it on your food and try it. And I tried all of them. They were all very, very good. I believe it's a chain, but it's 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 pretty nice. I think it would go back. Um, it's great because we got to try new food and then we get to come home uh, for dinner and have a, a comfort food. This is uh, taco soup, which my mom has made many times before. Um, the, the correct way of preparing this, uh, it's what is it in it? It's just a bunch of different beans mm -hmm. and taco seasoning. Taco seasoning. It's seasoning it's like ta well, it's it's appropriately named. It's all the taco stuff, but in the soup, it's uh, it's served best with um, this special. Was it just a chipotle sour cream? Yeah, it's um, it's like a Mexican Tex-Mex sour cream. And of course, with chili cheese Fritos. <laughs> So that is our dinner tonight, and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, but yesterday I said that there was a piece of furniture that just came into our lives, and that is what we are going to, to deal with tonight. We are going to be putting together a TV stand. Yes, we have a TV stand. It is 215 pounds. It was very difficult to get inside the door from a parent's van, and now it is inside our home. The goal and objective is to drag this from here to there, where we will open the box and put it together. Why don't we open the box and bring each piece in individually so it's not as heavy? We could do that also, that's an idea. It's 215 pounds. Which I apparently can't carry. <laughs> it was actually, it was actually pretty humorous. Um, my, my parents got this for us. This is actually uh, their Christmas gift to us, is this TV stand. And uh, they said, we're just gonna let, you know, let you have it early for one, because then you can enjoy it. And they're like, number two, because we can't get that in the house. We can't get that in the house to wrap it. It's in the back of the van, you have to get it. And I was like, okay. So earlier we got it out of my, my dad's van and you know, I started to pull it out and I was like, okay, you know, I got this, I, I can do this now, you got the other end. So she she had it and my dad was also had like a hand under it and uh, my my <laughs> we started to pull it out and we're, we're going just a few steps and Mal says, Okay, Steve, yeah, I got it. I got it. It's going to be fine. He's like, are, are you sure? Your dad is strong. <laughs> and uh, and Mal was like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> My dad removes his hand. As soon as he does, Mal goes straight to the ground with this thing. I was cracking up so hard. I'm sorry. I'm so I didn't mean to laugh at you, but my God, I was laughing so hard. Anyway, um, yeah, we could do either, Mal. We could either open it up and then bring the stuff in over here. Well, it's, it, we only really have to drag it to there, because once it gets on the carpet, it'll slide. You want to open it and get all the... P Give me the scissors. How do you open this? Do you just, like, cut this? Sure. <laughs> what if something's wrong with it? How will we ever get it back in the box? I just realized, maybe I should have opened that end. Just like... There's not enough clearance between here and the wall to pull this stuff out. I can, I can probably, I can probably just push. Okay, there we go. There's a lot of cardboard. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, hey, you know what? We've been building a lot of stuff recently from IKEA, so how hard could this be? Of course, I'm sure the Swedes didn't do it, so it's probably going to be a little more difficult, but we'll uh, figure it out. Oh, it comes with a free packet of hot chocolate. We got everything moved over. Also, I just want to point out that the instructions came in this envelope. Makes you feel like you're James Bond or something, getting classified information. So, does it look complicated? It doesn't really seem that complicated. Most of the, yeah, most of the pieces are large. Um, I don't think this is going to be too difficult to build. It might look like we've done a lot, but the only thing I've done so far is put in six bolts. That's it. Um, the there's a, a a main piece that you lay down, and then you attach this with two bolts, you attach this with two bolts, and you attach all this with two bolts. Yes, this thing was actually already built. 
which is pretty fantastic. It looks like you got to put some handles on at some point, but otherwise it's done. These are just sitting here until we put these on. Um, this is a really easy build. In fact, I'd say this is easier than the bookshelves. I don't think this is more difficult, not in any way whatsoever. A little bit later, and we've done it. We have the TV stand all set up, which is great. We have a real TV stand now. That thing was actually IKEA coffee table, and this is a little more fitting for the room. Um, there's three different ways you could mount the television. For one, you could just stand it on top of the thing, which is what we're doing. There's also a bar thing, bar mount that sits up that you can floating mount? I don't know, that you could put, and then also you could just mount it to the wall. This one was the easiest to do, and that's why we elected to do it. Although, honestly, I kind of like the look of it, so A+. plus. Uh, the other thing we did is I mentioned in a few vlogs ago that we bought a Steam Link because they were on sale for 20 bucks, and we got that hooked up, and we're trying that out now. So this is, uh, this is the beginning of Inside that Mal is playing, and how it works is it's just that tiny little, if you can barely see it, tiny little box about the size of an Apple TV. So the, the camera was like, what are you trying to show? Um, just a oh, tiny little thing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it connects wirelessly, or wired, if you prefer, we have it wirelessly, um, to any computer running Steam on the network. So that would be my computer. So if we go in here, you'll see that my computer is running Steam. And uh, that's not anything I had to like do. As, as long as the computer is on and Steam is running, um, the Steam Link can connect to it. So it's pretty easy. You just turn on the computer and boom, you can play any games I have installed. And it, it runs them on the computer and then streams the video here. And uh, Mouse has been playing with it for just a little bit. and doesn't notice any lag or anything, so that's good. I was wondering if it was going to perform well over wireless, but it seems like it is. So that's, that's, a, that's a plus. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, it's a little later than I wanted to go to bed, but we're still going to wake up in the a.m., so I can't complain. I think I'm going to have a pear before bed, because we have a few of those I need to eat up. And uh, I don't really know what our plans are for tomorrow, but keep working. Mal finished, um, Mal finished a painting today, so we gotta, she's got to work on editing that. It's, uh, this vlog will be out late enough. It's her Mother 3 painting. Her first painting for Mother 3, she's done two from Earthbound. So the first one from Mother 3. And it's a snow scene. It's really beautiful. She went for realism, kind of like what she did for Fallout. And um, it's just really pretty. It's, it's probably one of my favorites. Anyway, we'll deal with that tomorrow. Let's meet back then, shall we?